Getting out of bed in the morning is no longer a problem for Diane McLean. She used to feel tired all the time, but losing weight has cured her sleep problem. This is my ex-favourite pair of jeans that I used to wear everywhere and they used to fit me perfectly. Diane's 28 stone weight was causing sleep apnea. One night, she stopped breathing. Then I woke up with lots of things going on round about me and in a sort of intensive care unit, yeah. This is sleep apnea in action. This man's throat relaxes so much that it closes and he stops breathing. Sleep clinics in Scotland are struggling to cope with a big rise in cases. 35 seconds later, the man starts breathing again. In 80% of cases, the patient's overweight. If you put on extra weight around your neck, then you tend to squash your neck closed when you're deeply asleep. You're unaware that that's happening to you because you're deeply asleep, but your brain senses that that relaxation is occurring and your brain's response is to waken you up into a much lighter sleep. Diane is cured, but many others still don't know their weight is stopping them from sleeping. Eleanor Bradford, BBC News. With us now, Catherine Huntley from the British Lung Foundation and Rebecca Olsen, who suffers from sleep apnea. Good morning Good to morning. you both. Good well, morning. we heard there in a report about the man who stopped breathing for 35 seconds. Mm. You can trump that quite easily with your experience. Yes, certainly a minute and a half quite often that I'll stop breathing for. 90 seconds you stop breathing yes. for. And then what happens? Well, luckily I've started breathing again, but it caused lots and lots of health problems. It caused high blood pressure, it caused um, damage to my pancreas, my liver, my kidneys, caused me to have some cardiac shock. So it really caused an awful lot of problems. Mm. And how have you dealt with that? Well, for a long time it went undiagnosed, including one when I was actually in the hospital and it used to go off at night and they used to come over and say, oh, it's okay now because it started again. They didn't pick up the sleep apnea. But um, what happened eventually, I was really lucky that two doctors um, from Barton, London, Dr. Frank Cross and Dr. Kopak, thought that their problems, all the health problems were related to sleep apnea, mm. sent me along for a sleep study and the results mm. were that I had severe sleep apnea. Catherine, we're hearing there are a lot more patients being diagnosed, but presumably there are many more who are not diagnosed, yes. people who are feeling tired Absolutely. all day and don't really understand why. Absolutely. I think the key thing is, is that snoring is the kind of problem that people sort of brush off as a bit of a joke. It comes a joke in the family, the partner sort of complains about mm. it. And the key thing is that we want people to get diagnosed and they can go to our website lunguk.org and take a very short two minute sleep test and that will help you then to go along to your what's GP. The, what's, what are the questions? It's a sort of sleepiness scale and it will ask you questions around how tired you feel when you're doing everyday things like mm. watching TV and it will give you a score and you can take that along to your GP and then they can then refer you on to a sleep lab clinic as they did with Rebecca. Um, but the key thing is, is go to your GP, take our sleep test and get checked. You've brought in a contraption here. Uh, what is this? So this is what I need to sleep with at night and it keeps a continuous pressure. Oh, that's it. Hold it still for just a second so we can see you right. Continuous pressure um, going down my throat keeps my airways open. And if I stop breathing, it's still pushing the air down, so it basically stops me stopping breathing. So this is part of the sort of cure? Yeah, it's the treatment. The treatment, The treatment. Yeah. Is so it, what's it like to sleep with that on your face? It's not easy, but the quality of life that it's given me is well worth it. You have to lie on your back, presumably, do you? You can roll over. It's like, it does bend and things. Mm. So you do tend to go to sleep on your back, but roll over and you'll stay asleep. The problem is, if you wake up in the night, it's not easy to get back to sleep when you're wearing it. But the difference is now a lot of my health problems are resolved because of it. I've got a lot more energy. Mm. Um, it really has changed my life. So it's definitely worth wearing. It really improves the quality of your life. And Catherine, is there a, a, a link between sleep apnea and weight, which means that if you lose weight, you can deal with the sleep apnea? Yes, absolutely. Commonly, uh, people who are middle-aged who tend to be overweight is linked with obesity. Uh, people aged between 30 and 60 are particularly at risk of this condition. But actually, it can affect anyone. It can affect women. It can affect children, commonly children with large 
which tonsils can have obstructive sleep apnea. Mm. So the key thing is get checked. If you think you have symptoms such as extreme daytime tiredness, you're a loud snorer, you have daytime headaches, memory loss is actually caused by stopping breathing as well during sleep, then do get checked and go to your GP. Mm. How much, how badly was it affecting you in your day-to-day -day life? I know you said you mm. felt tired. But in my day-to-day -day life, I tended to push through it because that's the kind of nature I have. But physically, the damage it was doing to my body was immense. As I said, it, it was causing medical problems all over the place mm. that they were having trouble diagnosing. They couldn't get to the bottom of it. They could mm. see that there were problems, you know, when they were taking tests, that the results were odd, but they couldn't find out why. Mm. And eventually, once they discovered the sleep apnea, there's been a huge mm. improvement. Well, good, and um, glad to hear it. Thanks for bringing in the, uh, the machine and showing us how it works. And Catherine, thanks very much indeed. Thank you. And sleep tight. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Still to come on.